Okay, we're at the mast here. I've got this bracket loosened up so I can slide this in here. I'm going to rotate it around, and there's my black mark. I'll get this thing centered up there. And tighten up these screws to hold the antenna. I'm just snugging it. I'm going to level that out. And tighten this down. this back to get the wire into the gamma tube. I think that's about where it's supposed to be. Let me get the screwdriver so I can tighten that up. Next step will be to uh, hook it up to the radio and uh, see if it functions still. I wanted to show you this before I did any adjustments. So once I put it into a circle, I tried to put everything back where it should be. And you can see everything is way out of whack now. Um, I'm at uh, 2 to 1 SWR and about uh, 85 ohms here it looks like, or 81 here. Um, the capacitance inductance impedance is at 21 ohms, so an SWR is 1.9, so it's on the, the LCD reading. So it's it's way out of whack. So let me do some adjusting. We'll see if we can get that uh, back into shape. Okay, I'm going to uh, move this around and see if I can't get it to uh, match a little better. I can see the meter in the distance off to me here. So we'll see what, if I can get everything readjusted. First of all, I'm going to change the capacitance here. That doesn't seem to be having much effect at all. That went higher. Now let's try changing uh, where the strap hooks on. And move it out more. Okay, after quite a bit of adjustment, I finally got it down to something that actually looks better than it did to start with, but I'll show you the antenna in a moment. I had to really adjust it way to one end, so I may change the design slightly. Anyway, I'm at uh, 46 ohms here of resistance. The uh, capacitance and inductance have uh, equalized each other, so it's zero, and I'm at uh, 144.25 right now. 1 to 1 SWR it shows here and um, we'll take a look on the radio here in a moment but let's take a look at the antenna adjustment to begin with okay as you can see here I had to adjust the gamma tube almost all the way over here meaning that I needed more capacitance the strap is actually almost in the identical location is on uh, or when I started on the dipole so I think if I make a longer gamma tube and have a longer wire I can push this out a little bit and still get the same amount of capacitance. The problem that I'm thinking I'm gonna have here is that um, once I stack two I may have to adjust again. I know I will. Everything affects everything and I may not have enough adjustment so I'm probably gonna change this gamma tube so it's a little bit longer and have a longer wire so I can add more capacitance if I need to. Okay let's move back over to the radio and uh, hook it up to the SWR meter. Okay, I'm back to um, the beacon that I normally use. 
this radio is old and it tends to drift. Anyway, this beacon is KJ6KO, and I measured it on Google Earth. It's about 45 miles away from here. Uh, this is so 45 miles away on two meters. I'm getting S9 reading on this meter um, with one loop, and it's up maybe five and a half, six feet tall off the ground right now as my temporary setup. So that's not bad. Let's go ahead and uh, check SWR. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up my squelch a little bit, turn it, turn it over to FM, and I'm going to change the frequency down. I think the last time we did it at 144, 230. I'm going to switch back over to sideband just to make sure that I don't hear anybody. I don't want to interfere with anybody. Okay, I don't hear anything, so let's go back to FM. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is set the meter to calibrate. Key up. Very close. Okay, let's go to SWR. Yeah, again, the needle moves a little bit. So it's about 1.1 to 1, I'd say, right now. I might be able to do a little better than that, but that's not bad at all. N6TWW. Okay, so um, probably the next step is to build the second loop and build a phasing harness. But anyway, the antenna's done. I'll swing around here in a second. You can take a final look at the uh, setup on the ground. Okay, there's the uh, antenna. Like I say, I'll probably... Uh, change that gamma tube design a little bit make a longer wire longer gamma tube but it's basically in its finished configuration here and it's about six foot off the ground right now just as a test setup and again I'll give you a close-up view of everything there's the gap I've got it about an inch and a half Okay, I went ahead and uh, lengthened this gamma tube. Here's the original one. This was three and a half. I went ahead and just doubled it in size to seven inches. I marked it with a piece of tape over here to find out how far I had to go over. And the SWRs actually look a little better. I'm going to lengthen the wire in here too and move this tube out to give me a little more adjustment. So let's take a look at the uh, SWR meter one more time. Okay, back to the SWR meter setup. I'll go ahead and put it in calibrate again. Okay, that's good. Let's put it back to SWR. Wow, barely moved, so it's it's really in good adjustment now. N6TWW. Okay, so uh, probably the next thing I'll do is I'll make a longer piece of wire for the gamma tube adjustment so I have more capacitance available and go from there.